All right, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Albion. Oh, seeds. Oh, more seeds. I have yet to actually have to buy more seeds since I bought those last ones and apparently bought way too many because holy crap, I still have four pack four spaces worth. Which I shouldn't because these ones just be combined there. But either way, I still have over 200. Look, more seeds. Seeds everywhere. How many did that give me? Five. It's not really that much, but. Oh, look. Okay, I don't want to listen to that buzzing the whole time, so we're going to go fight these things. I hate these guys. Oh, Crown here too. So. Frost Avalanche. Let's see how much damage good old Thunderstorm does when it's at max. Let's banish some demon. Z. The line one would be a good one to have. Um, there's actually a really scary battle, apparently, in that area I was in, that you used to grind because it's an infinite spawn. And it's an infinite spawn of Animal 3s. You all remember them. Yeah. So we need to get demon... We need to get the higher level demon banishing spells trained up quickly. If I do come across that grind and I understand it and figure it out, um, someone's dead. Oh, it must have been the attacks. We're not gonna get any demon banishing in. Oh, we did. He casted it. Just didn't do anything. Hey, it reached level 16. Oh, cool. Nope, I didn't mean to give those to her. Oh, well. More Crondir bits. Who are they? I think we should have Kuneg talk in case these are the Ken get one of those people. Oh, uh, we've come to make a deal. Home of the Kenget Kamulos, we recommend that only visitors with a very strong reason enter. Do you have such a reason? Yeah, we've come to make a deal. I hope for your sake that your business is important and honorable. Now follow me into Kamulon. I will I will introduce you to Rain, the com the companion of the Kuwait, our leader. Okay. Oh. So I was right. This little fence over here that I found before with the little two people in front of it is most definitely the Kenget Kamulos area. Guard leads the guards lead the companions into the mountain. The dusky twilight shows more passages that penetrate the mountain. The place must be gigantic. <laughs> Is this the leader? I bet this is the leader. Greetings. We uh, don't often get visitors in Kamuon. Explain the reason of your presence. Come right to the point. As you wish, we've come to propose a business deal to you. We are willing to pay you a large amount of gold to learn of a certain aspect of your magical knowledge. It concerns the knowledge of how great amounts of energy can be harnessed. You want the high knowledge? You have the arrogance to ask about a core area of our magical knowledge? That is correct. You asked for openness. We have an important mission to carry out. We are never concerned about our visitors' motives. You are right. Your openness is remarkable. Wow. Well, he's impressed about Tom being a dick. That's cool. <laughs> Before I refuse that word, <laughs> I will have to discuss this matter with the Kuwain, our chief. Oh, so this isn't the leader. Oh, this is his, his friend. Okay, that's right. I remember him talking about that now. I will have you brought to the guest quarters. You may move freely in this part of Camulon, the area of the novices and slaves. Do not try to penetrate other areas. I will let you know our decision shortly. The group is led through long passages and halls into a spacious room. Hmm, the Kengit's reaction was more positive than I expected. At least he didn't immediately throw us out or put us in chains. Believe me, I'm sure they are planning something we don't like. The Kenget will never get away with the high. We'll never give away the high knowledge. There's probably nothing else for us to do but remain alert and wait. 
let's look around a little. The more we can learn about this place, the better. I will let you know where we are from time to time. Kamamulan is very large. Almost the entire mountain was excavated using slaves and magic. He doesn't talk much, but now that we're here, he's gonna talk a lot. He tells us all about this place as we wander around, apparently. He just said he would. Just doesn't tell us anything about this area. I guess there's not much to say. Is that a door? That's a door. That's a door. For novices. Set it down there. Ooh, a room for novices, huh? Bookshelf. Wait, what did, did that say something about spells? Oh, small unimportant objects lie on the shelves. I really don't like how I think it's DOS box that's cutting this off, but it is most definitely getting cut off. It's like a door. There those are those are meanly hidden doors. I do not like that. I'm just saying. But there's a door like right here, isn't there? Nope, that's, that one's just a passage. That one's doorless. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like how like pressing a single button makes it go away. Different cutting, stabbing, and shooting weapons, which all look extremely dangerous. I don't know why the screen cut up, is like cut off right down there. I actually hadn't even really noticed it, but now that I think about it, like there's that piece of the border right there, but then there's no border over here, and the mouse actually goes off the screen over here, where I can't get it to do it over here. So, oh well, we're not missing much. We're missing like half a letter. Yeah, the passage to the guest room and the novices' cells. Okay, well. The central hall. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, let's go over here. Let's go in this room. Here, the exercise room for the that, that probably said druid novices. Nothing to nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. Hey, how about how about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Pretty is proceeding well. Camilla is be content. Okay. First combat spell. What a wonderful feeling to sense of energy flowing through my spirit. Hey, I can manipulate this one. Ooh, fireball. So exciting. He already knows fireball. Hey, I manipulate that one too. Ooh. Magic potions. I like magic potions. I don't have enough of those. Those ones I have. Can anybody move still? Good, good, good. Actually, I guess I didn't really search around in here for anything more, did I? Maybe there's something in this bookshelf. Nope. Alright. We'll go this way. I have no idea where we're going or why we're going there, but... Let's go! We gotta find some way... They told us not to penetrate the depths, but I get the feeling that we want to penetrate the depths, because they're not gonna give us what we want. I don't know how blatantly clear that is to everyone else. Exercise for the warrior novices. Ooh. I can take that. A heavy short sword. Ten damage. It looks kinda cool. How heavy is this heavy short sword? Wow, that's actually really heavy. I wonder what if it like turns into anything on that anvil. I wonder what it would become. Maybe something really, really good. We'll hold on to it. My training with long distance weapons is almost over. Soon I will earn the highest stage of art of combat. Unarmed combat. Oh? Apparently, unarmed combat is the highest stage. And the hardest to do. Ooh, healing potions! Healing potions! We need more healing potions all the time. Thank God for those power amulets, right? They are just fucking. They are great. 
Love them. Can I go this way? Can. There's so many little things in here that I might be able to, like, manipulate. What do you know about... Let's actually ask him about training. What do you know about the Clado? What do you know about the Kula? Um, what do you know about weapon? What do you know about long range training? Maybe he can say something about that. No. I figured that'd be too much. A supply room. This sounds like a good place for us to be. They all look extremely dangerous and extremely like you should take them, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. A ring of wrath. is actually literally full. Mm, cursed, you think? I'm gonna say yes. Based on the name. And the name alone. Cursed. Alright. Drear, get cursed. Or don't get cursed. It uh, doesn't seem to do anything statistic wise. Why can't I? There we go. So I can't put it down. Hmm, maybe it's a mage ring? Maybe it increases spell points? No, it doesn't increase spell points. I don't know what it does. Looks like it's got a spell. Ooh, a whole bunch of torches. A whole bunch of rope, which I don't think I need. Another cap, which I know I don't need. I'll take it, I guess. Look at that one. A ring of wrath. I don't, I don't know what it does. Sounds pretty, uh, pretty awesome though. I'm gonna say. I think I found a, a cool item right there. All right. Let's uh. Can't take that bow. That's too bad. Alright, let's leave the exercise room now. God, that makes me feel like there should be more in the magic room. You know? Maybe if I talk to this person. Wasn't there somebody I could like actually talk to here? I guess not. So, when we come back, we will continue to explore the Kenget Kamulos. And maybe Kuneg will have something better to tell us than the exercise room of the Dru Druid novices. So when it happens, it happens, and I'll see you all then. Have a good one, everyone. Have a good one.